Hey there, Tad Argray from marketingforhippies.com. Today's video is about the flat affect and where to put your enthusiasm. This is such a simple thing. Uh, I got this from a fellow Ari Galper years ago uh, who has, has a business, unlockthegame.com. Enthusiasm is uh, contagious. We all know that. It's fun to be around people who are enthusiastic about something. You know, the word entheos means, uh, it talks about breath. Yeah, inspired, the spirit. And, uh, you know, inspired, inspiritus. It's, so it's a beautiful quality to have. But if you misplace that quality, it can do a lot of damage to your, uh, to your hopes and dreams uh, of, of marketing. And so here's what I mean by that, is when you're sharing your perspective and your point of view, enthusiasm is right on time, it's completely warranted. But by the time you get to the pitch, by the time you get to sharing what you do specifically, your offer, the, the package, the, the, the programs, you know, the uh, whatever that you have, it's misplaced. When you're speaking about your story, your, uh, your philosophy, I think it's wonderful to have a lot of enthusiasm about it, you know, to be a, just talking like a human being. But as soon as we get into the pitch, the challenge is what's likely to be triggered at that point is I'm being sold, which may be true, <laughs> depending on your agenda. But even if that isn't your agenda, literally just the enthusiasm in our voice and on our face can trigger that response and create a defensiveness where now they're pushing back. And, you know, people when they're under pressure often feel like they have two choices. They either submit or they rebel. Now you might think, well, if they submit, that wouldn't be so bad because they'd sign up. Y yeah, but then that's a request for a refund. It's bad word of mouth later. And they don't have a good experience because they didn't really want to do it. And if they rebel, of course, now they're pushing back. And now, even if they might have signed up, otherwise they won't. So it, it's... Um, this is really important to get. When we go to share the pitch, it's basically a flat affect, meaning expressionless face, kind of flat tone of voice. We scale the enthusiasm way back. We dial it way back. When I say flat, I mean, it's, you can't really do it as a human being just to be completely flat. There's going to be some, but it's not a bad thing to try to overshoot because out of our natural enthusiasm, we'll probably just register as a, as a regular person. But we want to tone it back because at the end, you know, we can think of it also non-verbally. Enthusiasm is like leaning in. And when we're sharing our story and point of view, sure, you can lean in. That's fine. But when we're sharing the pitch, we need to be leaning out and probably way out. Because if you lean way out, you might just be leaning a little bit out in reality because uh, we often misgauge these things. And here's the benefit of it, too. If you do the point of view marketing thing, and most of your effort has been on making the case, for, not for them to work with you, but making the case for the point of view, for your philosophy, if that's what you do, then there's not a lot of weight needed on this at the end, on the, uh, on the pitch. And also, you can take the pressure off the emotion, and you can just like, okay, that was my enthusiastic uh, pitch for a perspective, that was my share on that, but if you're interested in that, if you'd like to know more about this in that little last bit, here's here's the thing. We have a program coming up. You know, uh, it's $300, it's 30 days, five calls, 90 minutes each, that type of thing. We have a weekend workshop coming up. Here are the dates. These are the times. This is kind of the loose format of it. Here's who it's for. Here's who it isn't for. Here's what it is, what it isn't, how we do it, how we don't do it. But you see what I'm saying? I'm not... I'm putting no particular emphasis on it. I'm putting no particular um, juice on it. If anything, I'm trying to dial it back and just have it be very flat, almost monotone, just conversational, real easy. Uh, as if I'm talking about, you know, and would you like fries with that? Basics. Because, again, otherwise, otherwise it will probably lean in too hard. And, um, you know, of course, there's some people who just lean out and they're so shy about presenting. Well, fine, you'll be okay. <laughs> you'll be great. So I'm not saying that enthusiasm doesn't have a role. I'm just saying we got to do it at the right time.
in the right place. And that time is not when you get to the sharing about the details of what you offer, making the offer, given the pitch, the shameless plugs. That's not where the enthusiasm belongs. The enthusiasm belongs in sharing your story, in remembering things in front of people, in laying out the philosophy and laying out the approach that you came up with that was so helpful for you and for your clients. That's where it's absolutely welcome. Yeah, so hopefully that helps. Uh, this was something I've been thinking about. I know I'd said it to a bunch of clients lately, so I thought I'd make a video of it, share it with you here. Uh, thank you again for watching these videos. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who subscribes to these videos. Thank you for everyone who's sharing these videos up uh, in all the places you do that I'll probably never know, uh, but I am grateful. And uh, of course, marketingforhippies.com is my website. Uh, I'm on Facebook as well. I'm on Instagram. My Instagram stories have been pretty, pretty solid these days. So you can check that out. And by the way, if you do uh, share this video, of course it helps. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, that also seems to be a big help as well. So thank you so much, everyone.